Hi guys, welcome back to this new video. In this architecture, you can see that uh, we have a new node which is there. It, it is a Windows machine which permit her, which will permit us to have access to the dashboard of our personal cluster and uh, simply. Okay. So let's move on to the next step. To install our Postmos cluster, you should download the ISO. It is mandatory. So to download the ISO, you have to go to the the Proxmos cluster or to the Proxmos website. Okay, from there we go to the I, to the download sections, and from there we can uh, we can be able to have uh, the, the link. You can click on to the link to download the ISO and move it to yourself, move it to your environment. Yeah, as I'm doing he uh, here. Okay, I have already done that okay, previously. I have already done uh, the, the downloading, uh, so I have already have it in my uh, environment okay i have already have uh, the iso in my environment as you can see here so now the next step will be to install the the node the first our first node and after that i will do the second one and, and the th third one let me show you the, the the command that i intend to use but first of all let's clear my uh, here is the command. As you can see, the, here is the name of the, of the node. I will intend to use uh, 8 uh, gig of RAM. Here is the name of the, of the drives that I have in my after installation in my environment. I, should have, uh, I will have uh, 8 CPUs. The networks on which uh, this node will be connected will be your management network and the above other as well. As you can see here. Okay. And uh, yeah. Let's launch over the installation. So waiting for the installation to be completed. So let's go to the. I will connect now to the. To this uh, Windows machine to to continue the, the installations, and I will use the VNC viewer viewer to permit me to have access to the console to continue the installation. Because here as you can see here. What we have done, we have to connect to the console of the, of the machine okay, to continue the installation. Because this one is connected to the management network, I will connect to, to the management network or the IP or this physical node connected to the management network to permit me to have access to the console and continue the installation. And I will use all the, the port. Uh, 60 and 200 okay so let's do that uh, it will be your 10 0 1 yeah and other uh, the port is this one okay let's move on and see as you can see here we go okay so from there i will i will use all the install uh Graphical, okay. So I will install it graphically, okay. So I will click on it. Uh, just let me. Uh, I will hit uh, enter. Okay, so <laughs> I have no choice, but it's up to you. You have to read all the, the agreements and uh, you, can, you can agree or disagree. So me, I, I have to agree. Uh, I agree. From there, let's move on. I will choose the drive. Remember, this driver is, the, is this one. Mm, it is the size of the drive that I will use, okay? So from there, let's move to the next step. And the country, you can choose your country. With me, I'm in Morocco. Uh, but let me let me use the, the the keyboard, okay? Because it's important for me. Uh, let me because of, let me say I will. I'm on French. France, yeah. 
for me to have a good keyboard with the corresponding uh, keyboard yeah and for the time zone I use the UTC okay and the next the password so you have to use all a, a password that you should be able to remember okay let me use one confirm the password and the email uh, example f Call it zero one, for instance, and uh, the management interface is mandatory to choose to use of a good management interface. Okay, we have use of this one because I'm using this one. Remember, this interface, uh, this one is the uh, both one connected to the virtual uh, to the open V switch. Okay, so be be very careful and me. To be able to have access so to the first the dashboard at the first time so for the installation after the installation done, I have to be to be connected to the management bridge. Okay, so I will use this one. Just remark that so we have the, the this one here. We have a MAC address. Okay, those MAC addresses uh, you can find them here. Okay, so just uh, to have uh, a good. Uh, point of view, the MAC address as well. So I won't use them. So I will use just this one, which is connect corresponding to the management network. And uh, from there, the CRDR that I will use uh, should be here a C uh, to uh, an IP range uh, which is uh, on this, which is uh, which corresponding to this bridge. Okay, to this management bridge. So let me take this one ten. I will say Okay, I will choose this one and the gateway will be a uh, mm -mm, yeah. and the DNS server I will take uh, the one the Google yeah so let me just uh, keep noted this IP address Mm. Okay, great. Now we can move on. Okay, after doing that, uh, you are ready to move on. Just click install and the magic will be uh, will start. So for the moment you can go and take care of your a, a bit of coffee and uh, just wait.
Great. Now the installation has been uh, is successful, so the node will be able to reboot automatically. See here. Now, in moment, yeah. Okay, you can see that the node has been rebooted, and now let's go back here. I can uh, use my browser. Okay, take my browser. And uh, remember the IP address that we, we used this before. If you want, you can go back again on the but the, the installation has been done successfully, so no need to see. So I can go to the to the browser at this spot, and I will be able to access to the dashboard, or I can continue to the console if I would like to. So now uh, my first node has been installed installed successfully. So uh, great uh, congratulations. I can connect her to the to the, the to your node. Okay. So yeah, okay. So we can we will have to use all the same thing for the others now. So thank you very much and congratulations for your first node installed in your environment. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our ch channel. Bye from now.